what's up guys this is lucky and i welcome you guys back again to this tutorial section guys so guys in today's video i will be showing you step by step process on how to fix the problem of no boot device is found on your laptop now depending on the make of your laptop this message could be a little bit different like in the case of this uh, Lenovo laptop that i have here as you can see here the error message here is different from the previous hp laptop that i showed you so in this tutorial guys i'll be showing you step by step process on how to actually approach this problem and fix it and at the end you have your laptop working in a good condition again all right so with that being said guys let's now get started with today's video guys all right guys so this problem could be a software or a hardware problem right so but we're going to be approaching it step by step so the very first thing we're going to do is to enter the bio section and check if the boot priority is set to boot from the hard disk drive first all right so if the boot priority is not set to boot from the hard disk drive it could be one of the reasons that will cause that a uh, problem of no boot device found all right first thing i'm going to do here is to power on the laptop and use f10 key to enter the bio section of this laptop so i'll just go ahead and turn on the laptop and click off f10 continuously and that will take me straight down into the bio section of the laptop so guys from here all i need to do is just to go to system configuration in your own case it might be an advanced option so just set over to that system configuration there and then you locate boot option so i'll use my arrow key to go down and i'll click on enter and from here i'll go down to where i will see boot priorities all right so guys this is a legacy boot order so here as you can see now we are supposed to have this notebook hard drive to be the first boot priority but in this case i'm seeing usb cd-rom as the first boot priority so i'm going to go ahead and change this to be the first boot priority which is the notebook hard drive and then after that i then i'll hit on enter to accept and then i'll exit I'll click on yes then you restart the computer Alright, so that is it for the first method. So if this method didn't work for you, then you should proceed to the second step. So guys, another problem that could cause the error of a no boot device found is as a result of a detached hard drive on your laptop. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and locate where the hard drive of this laptop is mounted. In my own case here, this is where the hard drive is mounted. You can just pull up of this and as you can see here all i need to do is just to uh, ensure that my hard drive is properly uh, fixed to the connector so if it's not properly fixed sometimes because of vibration this could just um, uh, shift from its initial position from its uh, normal position where it's supposed to be so all you need to do is just to reattach the hard disk drive just reattach and make sure that it's firm all right so and then you go ahead and couple back the laptop and they boot up the device again all right guys so if this step does not work for you then you should proceed to the very third step all right Alright guys, so if the two method does not work for you, then the next thing you're going to do is to get a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive or Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. So if you have not created your own bootable USB flash drive, all you need to do is just to uh, click on the video above and it will take you to the previous video which I've already made on how to create and configure a USB flash drive to install Windows. 
all right so all you need to do is just to get that and connect it to your computer and then turn on the computer to boot from the usb flash drive here i'll use f9 to select the usb flash drive as the boot device i'll hit on enter So when you go to this window screen, you hit on next, I'll just click on next and head over to repair your computer. From here, I'll select troubleshoot and then I'll click on command prompt. Here, just type in the command that is displayed on your screen, dx parts. List volume. From here you select your hard disk drive of course you know that that should be the size the biggest size from this place here as you can see here this is a 930 gig so this should be my hard disk drive that i have connected on this laptop now all i need to do is also select volume one which is the letter e all right in your own case this might be letter c which is your um your hard disk drive which you have your windows on it all right so i'll just go ahead and select a uh, volume one select volume one and then i'll hit on enter all right so you should get a message volume one is the selected volume now what we are going to do here is to enter active and hit on enter and from here i'll type i sign Then hit on enter and then you should get a message dx bar successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point now at this point all you need to do is just to type in exit exit then hit on enter and then type in exit once again and then hit on enter and then from here you should turn off your pc now when the computer has shut down just all you need to do is just to Power on the computer again, remove your USB flash drive which you connected to the computer. Alright guys, with these three steps that I just showed in this video, I believe that the problem of your system, or the problem of boot device not found on your laptop should be sorted out. So if you find this video very helpful, give this video a thumbs up, comment in the comment section and subscribe if today is your first time of coming across our tutorial here on YouTube and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our future tech support video. With that being said, see you in the very next tutorial. Bye for now.